Hey guys, so the biggest update we've gotten so far about the Model 3 performance is the fact that it's now officially called the Model 3 Ludicrous. This was recently found within the source codes of the Model 3 Design Studio as they are preparing for the launch of the Performance Ludicrous model. Now fortunately for us, we got additional details within the source codes indicating all the official specs of the Model 3 Ludicrous and this is exactly what we should be expecting. But before we get to all that, let's go back in time and let's go over the Model 3 differences between the original performance and the new Ludicrous. The original Model 3, which at this point you can call the OG, has made its first appearance in early 2018 and made splashes all over headlines. It was able to do everything a typical car could do, but it could do it even better. It was quiet, it was quick, and it had the range to compete with some of the best vehicles out there. Then in terms of performance, it was literally a monster that can compete with some of the best sports cars in that segment. Segment. However, there was one downside to all this and it was very specific to EVs in general. After a certain speed and RPM, the car would take a nosedive in terms of the performance and this is where you'll notice this especially when you are hitting the mark of 60 to 70 miles per hour. The torque would practically just die off and as you can see in this graph, after about 70 miles per hour, you are just crawling up to top speed. But then this all changed in early 2021 when Tesla introduced the Plaid Model S's and X's, these Palladium models here can accelerate at insane levels and get all the way up to top speed without taking a breath. Keep in mind, we're not only talking about the carbon sleeve rotors on the Plaids, we're also including the long range model which can accelerate all the way up to top speed without a single hiccup. So to be quite honest, up until today, there is not a single car in existence that can compete with the Model S and X acceleration other than those hypercars like the Nevera, those are very specific niche products that are upwards of two million dollars so we're gonna push them aside for now but in terms of a mass production car Tesla has it all beat now what's interesting here is Tesla put these new motors exclusively to the model S and X and I have no doubt in the future that the Roadster will also use these exact same types of motors however as for right now even the latest product which is the Cybertruck it also seems to taper off just about the same mark as does the model 3 and model Y in the end, this is not due to the limited production and availability of these motors. This is the design choice that Tesla has put exclusively for the S and X. So the Model 3, Model Y, and the Cybertruck will always be using the original drivetrain until everything changes. Now this is not due to the limited availability and production of this drive unit. This is just the design choice that Tesla has taken for the Cybertruck and the 3 and Y, making sure that their premium products do get the top ends. But now getting back to the original Model 3, this is where we are in terms of specs and performance. Of course, these numbers are not as readily available as they used to be as Tesla is no longer selling the performance models, but going back by archives, you can see that these are good averages to get an idea of the overall specs. The first thing here is going to be the range. Going from 2018 up to 20. 2023, there has been some steadily improvements overall with the Model 3s. On average, we were getting an EPA approximated range of 315 miles for the best version of the Model 3 performance, and that equates to roughly about 510 kilometers overall. In terms of top speed, we have stayed about the same throughout the years at 162 miles per hour, equivalent to 260 kilometers per hour. This is a really good number overall and for those just typically driving on the highway and freeways, you don't really have to worry about this. And finally, the most important part here is the 0 to 60s and we have been steadily increasing going from 3.5 seconds all the way down to 3.1 seconds and this is where we are sitting as of right now. So yeah, those are the numbers for the original Model 3 performance. Now let's go on to the new Model 3 Ludicrous and let's take a look at what's happening today. So just Earlier this week, a user on X that goes by Justin has found within the source codes the reference to Ludacris. Of course, this is after the sighting of the Ludacris performance being filmed during a commercial. But nevertheless, this is what you're going to be seeing when you hit that order button. You're going to be ordering the Model 3 Ludacris rather than the performance. If you want to know more about the commercials being filmed and the recent sightings, and if you missed all of that, definitely go check out my previous video. I will drop that in the description below. There's a ton of stuff 
stuff going on. All right, so here is where things get a little bit confusing. In the recent findings within the source codes, this gives us all the details we need to know about the Model 3 Ludacris, including its range, its top speed, and its 0 to 60s. This is actually perfect for us, as it's available on the website right now, and if you guys want to check that out and compare it to the older model, you can do it yourself. Starting off, what we have for the range now is 510 EPA estimated miles. That is equivalent to 499 kilometers. This means it's 5 miles less than what we had previously at 315. Now just for comparison here, the long range model that's available right now to order has 341 miles on a full charge. This means you are sacrificing about 31 miles if you are going for the performance model. Speaking about performance, this gets even more confusing as there is now reference to two separate top speeds and two different variants to unlock. There seems to be an override option right within the source codes indicating the top speed being 145 miles per hour, then next to it being 162. Now if the latter ends up being true, we are now on par with the old Model 3 performance, but if it doesn't, we are getting 145 miles per hour which is substantially slower. And again, in comparison with the long range Model 3 that is available on the website right now, we have a top speed of 125 miles per hour. This is because Tesla is now prioritizing sound insulation over top speed. Now, the most important thing about all this has to be the 0 to 60s listed directly on the website. They are now putting the ludicrous model at 3.2 seconds 0 to 60s. This is completely opposite of what we have been talking about for the past couple of months. Now, I will have a specific video coming out about the drivetrain and these exact numbers. This is just hard to believe as it does have a new drive unit 600 plus horsepower with the acceleration boost option and it's only pulling in at 3.2 seconds. With all that being said, it just doesn't add up and it just doesn't make sense. So I'm going to be diving into this in the next video and we can all discuss about what we can be realistically expecting in the Ludicrous Model 3. Now let's just get straight to numbers here and see what we have. The old Model 3 has a range of 315 miles on a full charge whereas the newer Ludicrous Model has 315. 10. The old Model 3 has a top speed of 162 miles coming stock directly from the production line with the proper tires and everything suited for this range. Whereas the Model 3 Ludicrous here starts off at 145 and has an override option to 162 which just matches back up to the older performance. And then finally we have the 060 starting off at 3.1 seconds for the old Model 3 performance and now 3.2 seconds for the Model 3 Ludicrous. So yeah simply looking at the surface, it seems like we didn't even get an upgrade at all and in some cases it's gone even worse. But of course, as you dive deeper into drivetrain components, you will know that there is no possibility that the older one is going to be better than the new Model 3 Ludicrous in any sense at all. To be quite honest, I am still shocked to discover any of these numbers available on the website right now and I am still skeptical and still hesitant that any of this is true. Now in my fair thought here, there is nothing to worry about at all and I think these numbers here are just placeholders for the Model 3 Ludicrous sections as soon as the vehicle gets announced. Now just to share with you my personal line of work, there is what we call a test and a prod environment and I have a hard time believing that there is any codes that are being put into the live environment before the official vehicle gets unveiled. So for the time being, I would advise you guys to just stay calm, be chill, and we are going to be getting the Model 3 Ludicrous unveiling and announcement anytime time now but before any of that happens I will be keeping you guys as updated as possible on any information that comes out and the next video I will be talking all about the performance the drivetrain and all the important stuff that should make this car what it is. I am still betting on the fact that the Model 3 Ludicrous is going to be one of the best updates we've ever seen in a Tesla product so far. So like I said guys, nothing to worry about, but I will continue to keep you guys as posted as possible. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't done so already. And follow me on X at HeyJohnE. You guys can chat with me and DM me over there. And if you wanna support this channel and get a little bit more personal, I do have a Patreon link which I will drop in the description below but this should wrap it up for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it this is John once again peace out